What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers and welcome to the Tradman YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the Liquidator 3.0, the new blue end clips from Mormon and a quick review of the NXTR rubber, just an update on that as well. Stay tuned. Okay then folks, so yes, we're gonna have a quick chat about the new Liquidator 3.0 and what the differences are between that and the 2.0. And in summary, it's very, very fine, small differences. It's not huge changes, but basically it holds the rubber just ever so slightly better, not much. You will probably still have to pin the rubber using something like that, which is Unger Green Clips. Okay, I still found that the rubber moves around in the channel a little bit. So using something like Unger Green Clips is really gonna help you out. Now, when it actually comes to using it on the windows itself, you still get that zero detailing. This is the Liquidator 2.0, as you can see, it's uh, it's quite worn. And the new 3.0 is on he this one here. So you can see the differences kind of in the way it looks, but performance wise, there's not a huge difference. Okay, so it's basically the 3.0 has got a little bit more coverage over the rubber, but it's not drastic changes. I found the 3.0 can be in some instances a little bit more forgiving than the 2.0. So um, if you're having any difficulties with the 2.0 liquidator, give the 3.0 a wee try and see what you think. Personally, I get on okay with both of them, uh, the 2.0 and the 3.0. I like them both. Um, I get zero detailing, speeds me up with my work, and it's an efficient way to, to do traditional window cleaning. So the 3.0, I would say give it a go. It's a really good clip. I found it no problem at all whatsoever. But like I say, you're still gonna have to pin that rubber. It doesn't stop that rubber moving around, unfortunately. And the thing is, when you buy the 3.0, at the moment, when this video goes out, you have to buy the channel with it. And in the channel, you will get the NXTR rubber from Mormon. Now, if you haven't seen already, I'll pop a link at the top of the video for you. I did a review when this first came out of this blue NXT Mormon rubber, and I wasn't overly impressed with it. Um, you'll see in the review, I go into a lot of detail uh, as to what the problem was, the pros and cons to this rubber. Um, so basically I thought, right, you know what? I'll give this one a go and see if it's improved, if they've maybe changed it see if it lasts a bit longer, see if it's quite so noisy. Um, and unfortunately, it's very much the same. Um, it's very, very noisy on the glass, very squeaky. And it, the, the durability of it as well is just terrible. Um, to give you a, a for instance, this is the, the Liquidator 2. But yeah, the green rubber on here is almost ready to change. It's a week old. And then what I'll do is I'll take that rubber out spin it round and use the other side of the rubber. Now with the NXTR rubber, I started using that yesterday afternoon for about a couple of hours and I've used it for about half a day today and already the ends of it are shot. Um, there's chunks missing out the ends of the blue rubber already. So durability, it's rubbish, noise, squeaky, <laughs> lots of friction on the glass. Chuck it, chuck it. As soon as you get your 3.0 liquidator, put some Unger Green or Etre Master Rubber or something like that into it and it'll work fine, no problem at all. Don't use NXTR rubber, it's just pants. <laughs> well, saying that, there might be one or two people that like it, but for me, I found it just stuck on the glass. It makes a heck of a load of noise. It's embarrassing. Um, I've got customers walking past me and they're just hearing, and I'm like, oh, oh, sorry, it's the blue rubber, my bad, you know? So chuck in some Unger green rubber and you'll be fine. Liquidator 3.0 N clips, give them a try. They're really good. Um, but if you didn't have any problems with the 2.0, you're not gonna see a huge difference. So there you go. So hopefully that helps in some way, shape or form. I'll leave a link in the description below where I got my 3.0 clips and the 3.0 channel from. And hopefully that helps you folks. Okay, you take care, be good. And bye for now.